Hey guys, what's up? Andrew just out here. And today I wanted to share a um, major epiphany that I've had this week. Um, I've been listening to Personal Power 2 by Anthony Robbins, who's one of the um, famous personal development gurus of our time. And um, I've noticed something in uh, my behavior and in my, uh, my thought patterns because um, he talks about an exercise where you recognize the uh, disempowering emo emotions that you have in your life, like uh, frustration or disappointment or anger or, um, you know, whatever it is, like you, you have a ritual, um, you know, like people who are depressed, Dr. Chloe Madonis, um, someone Anthony Robbins works closely with, says that people don't um, feel depressed, people do depressed. There's a certain thing they do. They slump their shoulders forward. They talk really low or, or they have disempowering words, you know, like, you know, I'm, you know, just really feeling lonely or feeling um, isolated or rejected. And, and they're focusing on these words that are making them feel the way those words make them feel. Um, or, you know, they have a posture that's slumped over, a low tone of voice, you know, they're talking softly and, and looking down. And, and so there's certain rituals. And so, okay, when I talk low, use these words, look down, slump over, and, and do that, you will feel that. You know, it's like, oh, th that, those are my rituals of depression. Or these are my uh, rituals of anger. You know, when I think about someone who's wronged me and how they shouldn't and I, they should have known better and that this is the way that so many reasonable people act, then pretty soon, you know, you find yourself, you know, nostrils flaring, you know, your heart rate goes up, and pretty soon you're angry because you've done the anger ritual. Um, and um, I was thinking about that and what inspired me to do this video is that, um, you know, I know some people that I think um, deal with some, some anger and I realized that was behavior patterns of theirs and that anger is really, um, I think, when people get frustrated, you know, they're impatient, they're angry. I think it is. It, it really comes back to a, a ma another major epiphany I had was that patience comes through understanding. My favorite proverbs is um, wisdom is supreme, therefore get wisdom. It will cost all you have, gain understanding. And um, and I, I think that's really true about um, not being angry because if you understood, like someone actually just cut me off uh, a little while ago. And I thought, you know, that's all them. You know, that's their thing. Maybe, maybe they're being um, an inconsiderate jerk. Maybe they're speeding or maybe they have a medical emergency and they couldn't afford to uh, pay for an ambulance or didn't want to. Or, or maybe um, they had a really bad day and that's just a part of their ritual and that's how they um, get some adrenaline to burn off some steam and that's what they're doing or you know whatever it is though I can still maintain my inner joy and that's a situation outside of my control right now so I'm just gonna do the best that I can do and you know they weaved around and left and, and but I realized other people in their lives they might really let that affect them like or build on something that they've already let affect them you know they've they've done the anger ritual they're like, oh, I'm mad about this, I'm mad about that, I'm mad about this, and they're practicing the anger ritual. And um, another reason I made this video was because lately, I've been practicing the gratitude ritual of just, um, every day I, I write gratitudes as a part of my morning routine, and um, this week I've been writing um, only gratitudes of uh, things I'm thankful for about my wife. And um, I noticed what a difference it had on my life and how I was seeing that love come back and how um, the just the, the practice of practicing gratitude as I you know am more disciplined about making sure my morning routine happens the more I, I have more gratitude in my life for things that were already there that I took for granted so um, it, it appears as though more things come into your life for which you can be thankful for um, and I, I think that does happen because when you are grateful for things, you are valuing the resources around you, which can then bring you more resources. So um, just some major epiphanies I had, and uh, I hope this video has been a blessing to you guys. Sorry for the steering wheel getting in the way, um, but uh, and sorry for the lack of eye contact because i got to drive safe. But uh, 
I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, I hope you can uh, write down the rituals that you have in your life that are disempowering. The recipes you have, I recommend writing down at least five in your, your recipes for those so that you can recognize those patterns. That's the first step to breaking um, negative thought patterns is, is awareness. And then uh, the next step is to do the inverse. Find out the empowering thought patterns and what it takes. Thinking back to a time that you felt those empowering emotions, how to bring yourself to those states so that you can be at peak performance and uh, live the life of your dreams. Anyhow, I will talk to you guys later. Hope this video has been a blessing to you. See you later.